Happy Hallmark Holiday, everyone! No, really, Happy Valentine's Day! Hi everyone and welcome to my next tutorial. So this is going to be a sugar skull with a Valentine's theme, like a lot of hearts because, well, Valentine's Day. <laughs> so um, yeah, well I'm going to start it and of course again start with this, my white face, because my face is primed and I'm ready to go. So white face so it's my white paint my face paint that I have I, as I, I keep warning people do not use um, paint that was not made for face because um, you can get chemical reactions and you can get skin burn and chafing so please do use makeup grade stuff and face paint actual face and body paint um, this is actually body paint but I use it for my face um, what I use on my body sure why not you know I am not allergic to it but do make sure that if you do get face pain or whatever that you do test a patch of your skin first just to make sure that you're not allergic um, that is highly recommended so please do that and I warn people so without further ado on to making my face all white for this for the skull okay here we go So next I'm on to powdering my face and making it all be able to this makeup to stay on and together. Here we go. Now that I feel a bit more comfortable in my skin because the paint that I originally put on it's a little sticky at first so it's really uncomfortable so I have to put powder on my face so that you know I that it feels like I'm a normal person again it doesn't feel gross and tacky and sticky and also if I have powder on my face I know that I can keep this makeup for a little while longer and that I don't sweat through my makeup and that you know it doesn't melt off so happy days because it's summer here and it can get hot as OMG like hell <laughs> okay so next step is that I'm going to get a wax crayon uh, liner liner which is here yep wax uh, crayon eyeliner and this is how I am going to draw on the features of my sugar skull. 
So I always draw a head and then I go and paint over all the things I'm going to draw on. So the first thing I want to draw is the nose. Um, reason being is I think it's the hardest part of doing a sugar skull. So I might even colour it in using this. So okay, here we go. I'm going to try and draw the nose part on. So. going to be my nose. It's a little bit um, shoddy at the moment but once I colour it in it should be fine. So yeah this is going to be here for my nose so that's going to be pretty cool. The reason I've done it like this is because well my nose is not going to be this big hole it's going to be this thing here so that's where my nose is going to be. Um, actually I might paint it in because I might have an idea for my nose so okay so for the next bit I'm going to draw in what I'm doing for my eyes just so I know where the bigger parts are. I always start with the bigger parts on a sugar skull because that way I can do all the finer prettier things on the outside once I know where my big parts are. So next part. So instead of circles, I'm putting hearts around my eye. So, do on the other side. I'm the best I can on this side, but I, at least I know where it is. But I messed up a little bit, but that's okay, I can fix that. So I've got two hearts here and my nose. So the next bit um, I'm going to draw is my skeleton mouth. So I'm just going to draw that in now. Um, I'll do when I've done my like when I've painted my lips in with uh, lipstick. I'll do the actual line across my mouth and the ones on my mouth. But for the moment, I'm just doing the ones off to the edge. even on both sides so I have my got that sorted out and with the hearts I'm going to do like the little petal things around the hearts so I'm just about to do those around my eyes Yeah, so you sort of get the picture like of where I'm going with my design. So yeah, my heart's with little frillies and it's, it's all going on so far. <laughs> okay, so instead of putting like a little heart, I was going to put a bigger heart here in the middle with a little circle. So that's what I'm about to draw on. heart in the middle usually the hearts are really small but I made mine a little bit bigger it's a little lopsided but I can fix that that's fine um might draw some embellishments so might draw something like that and copy the embellishment on the other side so it looks even and then maybe have like Because 
at the moment my face looks like a mess but once I start painting in the colour you'll be able to see what's going on with my face. <laughs> I'm just going to draw some sides I have a little embellishment yeah I have little stems on it like that maybe like a little arrow here maybe like a little arrow there sort of thing. Maybe another love heart here. This one's going to be a black heart. Not a red heart. Since the chin is shaped very roundly anyway. I'm just going to make this a black one. Down here a heart. So I've got hearts like happening all over my face. And then maybe little one here and another one here okay so I've got heart happening all over my face and I'm ready to since I've drawn everything in I'm ready to color everything in here I go to start I'm going to have a paintbrush right here, sort of little round paintbrush that I have and I'm going to paint the black on the black heart and see how we go. Uh, I've got my black paint here, my black face paint, I'm going to put it into the lid here so that I can use it here like that and see how we go. Love heart happening down here, which is pretty cool. Okay, and I've got to paint in my eyes as well, so I'm about to do that. Okay, so that's two hearts done on my face in black. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and the nose. I've got to do the nose as well. So that's my nose done. So that's all the black I think I've got to paint and the rest is up to me. So I'm going to do a red heart and everything else kind of all red and um, yeah I'm on to doing the red paint next. So I'm using same said brush because and I've just like wiped it off. And I like using it because it's very um, easy to use. It's very, it's like, like it's not rounded, but it's not flat either. And it's just easy to guide my paint to do things. So, using this red here, 
and paint in all the red parts. So they might shake this paint up because it's never been used before so it's always good to shake up your paint because you don't know if it's been mixed properly or not. The pigment and I've just put a little bit of red into the lid to start and uh, see how we go. I'll paint this on. So now you can see where I sort of went with the red paint and I do need to go back over some of the black but I think I might be doing that with paint so that would be my next step is going over the black um, that I wanted to find with some black paint. Here we go. Okay so uh, I wasn't. I was going to do it with paint, but I don't think I have a steady enough hand. So I'm going to go back to my wax crayon here and see if I can get this right. Cause yeah, um, I've let it dry a little bit. It's not completely dry yet. But I also love these new spots that I've added um, because it's a very Mexican sort of uh, motif to add spots and, and dots to things. So. I was kind of proud of those. <laughs> it's a happy accident, as uh, one artist said a long time ago, <laughs> and I'm happy with that. So, yeah. So let's just define all the points on my face just to make it look a bit better. with how this got defined and I'm happy with the motif and I'm happy with how this looks at the moment. I have a little bit of red out of here but I'm not too fast. It's just a little mistake that I can't correct. So I'm just going to leave it. You know? So don't hate on me. <laughs> I actually like it because it just shows that I'm not perfect. I'm a little bit imperfect. So I'm human, damn it. <laughs> okay, so while I'm waiting for the paint to dry on my face, because most of this paint is not dried yet, so I'm gonna wait for it to dry. I'm going to put the lipstick on so that I can draw on the rest of my lips. So I'm just using this 
um, it's like a uh, red here, a red lipstick. It's more like a um, like a, a shimmery red. I'm not asking, I'm not using a matte red. You can use a matte red. That is a great idea to do things like that. But I'm just going for a shimmery red because I just want it to look a little different. So here I go. Okay, so that's my red there, my red lipstick. Okay, so it's a shimmery red, which I really enjoy. Okay, so I'm about to, you can actually line it as well um, to help it not bleed out, but I like to just leave it the way it is. I don't like, like drawing um, my lips on because it's really annoying. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and draw the rest of it across and see how I go. Here we go. Okay. I'm sort of happy, it's just that my lip is sweating, so like when I go to draw it's just like slipping off. So it's having I'm having a hard time, but um, it's looking good so far. Um, I'm just gonna see if all the paint is dry, and if not, I've got to wait for it to dry so that I can powder um, powder it because some of this paint needs to be powdered so that it can stay a little longer. Okay, let's wait for it to dry. Okay, so I have dusted my face with powder to make it better um, and I've just readjusted my teeth and you know what? I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the way it went and I think I've just really finished. It's just a lot of time between drying and waiting for things to dry before you draw things on and blotting, a lot of blotting on my lips um, and all things like that. And in the end, um, I'm pretty happy with how my Valentine's Sugar Skull um, came out. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, love, love, love love heart for eyes which you can't really tell anymore and just like this sort of like love motif I have on my face I am so um, proud with it's different from a sugar skull I did uh, differently about two Halloweens ago um, but I really like it's more traditional um, sort of looking and I really am happy like I am super happy and I'm really happy about my red paint. My red paint turned out really well. I, It's the first time I've ever used my red paint. So um, yeah, it's all really, yeah, I'm just loving how this looks. So happy Valentine's Day um, on February 14th to every, all those lovers out there who want to celebrate love and all great things that are love. Um, if you're alone, forever alone I'm so sorry <laughs> no I'm kidding um go and find somewhere out in there go to a bar go to a club go somewhere where there's going to be people hopefully you might meet the one you know and have a really great like meeting story on a valentine's day so that'll be a really really cool thing um but uh hope you enjoyed this face tutorial and you'll be able to use it for valentine's day and hand out roses and things like that or you want to use it for halloween or anything like that so until then I love you guys and I'll see you later bye